from the pandemic ashes rises the phoenix of all events. So these are the typical steps that I would go through. Just couldn't be fucked. A very surprising feedback was, I really love his- Ah, oh, shit. A little bit nervous. Oh my God, this is amazing. That's how you plan and execute on a conference. Oh, I think that made my day really. And action. I'm speaking at a conference. So what am I gonna do? If you've never done a public speaking event before, it might be hard to figure out where to start. How do you prepare your material, make sure your slides are good? What goes into the planning process? I will hopefully shed light on how you actually plan to speak at a conference, what sort of process I go through. Here's what I'm gonna do. First things first, let's do some planning. Uh, I was working on something else. We want to first think about personas. Who is the audience that we want to cater to? And what do we know about them? What kind of language do we use? And what sort of information will they find useful? Personas, done. Then brainstorming about topics. How do we then map their needs to what we know about the subject we want to talk about? How about brainstorming? Brainstorming, done. How do we then group that together to make sure it's more coherent and then our different ideas can start to form their shape and maybe tell a narrative? Affinity diagram. Done. And of course, research what existing literature is out there, what is in the wild that we can then use to make our content a bit more concise, but also do a quick little poll on Facebook to see what our users want. And that will then map back to our personas to validate if they are correct or not. Research, done. Then all that information will help us write our article. I want to do this step because I feel like the talk is not long enough for us to really deep dive into some of these areas and then what we need to do is just trim down and then actually give that presentation. Article, finally, done. I haven't done a conference in a while so I want to refresh my memory in terms of best practices when you're giving a presentation. What effective presentations in terms of visuals can help guide the audience through. Best practices, done. After that, actually create the slides and create the visual assets. Woo. Boy, this took ages. Slides, done. And I wanna do a couple of dry runs and iterating on those dry runs is very, very important, of course. Holy shit, 100 slides. So I'm about to do my first dry run. And if you don't know what a dry run is, it's basically a practice run to simulate the real environment of your presentation. And the reason I like to do this is because you can help iron out the kinks of your presentation. It's good for getting feedback and see if it works, if the message came across and also the pace of delivery. So you get warmed up on the content. Maybe you're saying too many filler words. We don't have the luxury of cutting every time, like on camera. A little bit nervous, hopefully it goes good. And action. <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for joining. I present the UX Getting Started Guide and good luck, thank you. I just finished my first dry run and I done. It went well from 39 minutes. I got it down to 33 minutes, but I got some really good feedback. I want to share some of these with you guys. And of course I've written them down. I had feedback about content. So leaving out different parts or condensing different parts. Feedback about the flow, how one section flows to another section. So make that a bit more natural. And then finally, 
a very surprising feedback was actually be more Chris. So, uh, but overall that went great. I'm ready to now iterate. Tomorrow I actually have another dry run with the organizers to make sure I'm on top form. Today's dry run number two. Dry runs and iterations. Done. Presentation. All right, presentations. Ah, oh, shit. It's tomorrow. Excited for tomorrow anyway. Conference day. Today's the day. Everything has been culminating to today. Let's get today started. First, of course, coffee. The setup, the mic, laptop, and another screen for Slack or any troubleshooting issues of the event. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. Nervous. Let's just welcome Chris Wait to our stage. Hey, are we live? So I just want to dive straight in if that's okay with you, Sean. And thanks for the introduction. Okay, here we go. So if this all sounds interesting to you, I present to you guys the UX Getting Started Guide. Six simple steps to get you started in user experience design. Good luck and thank you. Welcome our two panelists. Oh my god. Tell your story yet again. Sorry, I'm full of stories because I'm an old man. Uh, holy shit. Oh, Chris is amazing. Like Bruce Lee says, if you want to learn to swim, get in the water. Okay. <laughs> the last and very crucial step is the final feedback round, which we call debrief. I'm gonna just go through the comments and I'll, I'll be recording them and giving you guys my reaction oh someone said i really love his presentation oh yeah your voice sounds great oh thank you love the use of emojis you done no great presentation great great she wrote it three times love your talk easy for approach easy come on ux baby uh i asked the question why is chris so handsome and uh, <laughs> i tricked the host into asking that question this is amazing chris why are you so handsome oh this is my you <laughs> overwhelming amount of thank yous and i appreciate y'all and i'm glad it's useful <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so this is what I did, right? Just trolling in the comments as you do. And it's like, it's like dinner time or whatever. So someone says dinner. I go send foods, not nudes. And then everyone's just like getting in on it. And then the admin goes, I'm sending you the code of conduct ASAP. <laughs> uh, the head of design at Grab has this crazy mustache. So my question was, does having moustache improve design leadership skills? 11 likes, that's, oh God, he's gonna ask it. <laughs> this question is blowing up. But dude, moustache guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> this guy doesn't have a moustache. Oh God, this is too fun. This is Koi Vin. A world famous designer that's Vietnamese. Leadership positions in New York Times and a bunch of startups he's built by himself and other co founders. Currently, he's a senior director of product design at Adobe. So basically, he's hot shit. This is my question to him. <laughs> Presentation. Done. Debrief. Done. Done! Fuck. It's now 10 p.m. and the day is finished. It was a great success. Everybody was so awesome and I had a lot of fun. The event organizers were amazing. Uh, can't say thank you to them enough for being a part of this. My actual talk and panel discussion will be linked down below, but this is really just a behind the scenes, the whole planning of it, and also using design thinking just to help you prepare for your next conference. So I guess I'm gonna leave you guys with this. 
and uh, follow me on YouTube. Yes, please, Jay.